what is up guys prodigy here if you guys don't know by now the dlc is out the flight school dlc as you can see right here in front of me we got the brand new car my head is covering it but uh there you go ahead let me move around so you guys can see it um if you didn't see my first video that i uploaded today i showed you guys that i bought a motherfucking shark card and i had eight million dollars look at my money count right now it's at 2.7 million dollars i bought the new chopper i bought the new jet i bought the new uh the big jet i bought the small jet and the big jet that fits the 16 people and i also bought the new car only one of them because there's two kinds of the car so i'm gonna go ahead and go over the pricing and i think it's way too motherfucking much so if you go over to your website go to your phone and uh, we'll go to the phone then to the website we can go to the plane one and the first thing we see it's the new helicopter don't buy it not worth it it's not that fast i think it only fits what four people so just stick to the regular merryweather freaking chopper don't i'm telling you guys don't buy it don't buy it and the thing is it has two options it has the 1.5 million and the 1.6 the only difference is one is black and the other one is uh green and red i think it was I bought the expensive one and it was ugly. Next off, you got this jet that fits up to 16 motherfucking people and it goes for $1.7 million. Also way too much. Not that worth it. It's it's just like the Luxor, but bigger. You know, not... And if you guys are wondering what the hell is the Luxor, it's uh, this one right here, the Luxor. Luxor fits up to 10 people and it goes for 1.6 million. All they did was make it a little bit bigger and sell it for 1.7 million and, and it just fits extra six people. Not that worth it. Over here, you got the best rock. I guess that's how you say it. It costs 1.1 million dollars, 1.1. Definitely worth it. But you got to know that this doesn't have any guns. This is truly for uh, like, you know, stunt montages, um, really awesome maneuver. If it's just wonderful to fly. I loved it. I, I enjoyed this one. This one is definitely worth it. So if you have the money to buy the jet, definitely go ahead and buy it. But these two, please, man, I'm telling you not to do it. It's not worth it. They're too expensive and it's really not needed. Also, if you want to test them out yourself, you can always go to offline and try them out for free before buying them online. I wanted to buy them online because you never know in the future if I want to do some editing with people, I want to come up with some remake movies, these would help out a lot. But for you guys, don't do it. Like I said, the jet is worth it and none of these are worth it. Next off, they added, uh, which is the new car. So if you go to Legendary Motorsports, right here on the top, they added the two new cars, which is the exact same thing, but one is topless, one is convertible. Well, I, I kind of highlighted the opposite. I went ahead and went with the topless one. It sells for almost 700, well, you buy it for almost $700,000, and it's in front of me. It's right here you know this thing right here in front of me this is what it is i really like it i do enjoy it it's pretty fast it sounds good it sounds different and i think it's worth it so if you have the money and you want an old school car that looks really good it's pretty fast i would definitely buy this car and that is the only two things i think that is worth buying from this dlc the car and the new jet other than that ignore everything else which is really not that much it's super duper expensive, man. You know what? We went over this in my podcast with Dom is Live, I Crazy Teddy, Declan, and we asked the people and we asked ourselves, is DLC really free? I told them, no, it wasn't. They seemed to say that it was the opposite, that it was free. This is not fucking free. This is not fucking free. I spent almost, uh, what is it? Over 5.3 million dollars just to get all the cool stuff from this dlc i did not buy everything everything would be about six million dollars and this is not even counting the clothing this is not free do you know how much money does it cost to buy a eight million dollar shark card it cost a hundred fucking dollars a hundred dollars to get three aircrafts two cars DLC is not free. They say it's free, but it's definitely not free. I know some of you guys agree with me. Some of you guys might disagree with me, 
but for somebody like you know people that go to school somebody that work hard every day that don't have time to grind the game they will need almost seven million dollars to buy all the items just from this one dlc if you want to buy all the items you need probably seven million dollars i'm talking about all the aircrafts all the two, the two cars and maybe some of the clothing it'll cost you seven million dollars i paid eight million dollars i paid a hundred dollars in real life money DLC is not fucking free. Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, my little rant. I don't know how it ended up being a rant. I just want to talk about the pricing of the cars and the new stuff. See you guys later. Peace.